Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to explore the various principles that constitutes effective infographic design. As it should go without saying, there's good design and then there's bad design, and infographics are certainly no exception. It would be easy to simply throw a few pie charts and bar graphs on a canvas and call it a day. But to truly engage an audience, an effective infographic goes beyond simple pie charts and bar graphs. In no particular order, the following principles are essential to creating an effective infographic. In order for an infographic to be an infographic, you have to show the data, not tell it. That is, don't include too much type in your design. People don't like reading much, especially boring statistical information. So do your best to visually represent as much information as you possibly can. Of course, this doesn't mean to avoid using any type. It certainly has its place. But there's a fine line between too much type and vice versa. As I alluded to earlier, avoid using the boring charts we're all used to. Certainly though, you can use a pie chart for instance, but you should make an attempt to make an element of it unique or and relevant to the purpose of the infographic. The more you're able to customize the way in which you visually present the data, the more success you're going to have with that infographic. Use type when needed. Type has its place in an infographic. Some of the obvious places, of course, are the headline, subheadlining, the various subtitles that may occur in some of the longer infographics, supporting text to solidify conclusions made from the visually represented data, and in the source for data validation. Design with consistency. If you're an experienced designer, consistency is something you already understand. It applies to many other areas of design, including web design, print design, etc. Now, because some infographics can be packed with a lot of information, they can become quite lengthy. So it's important you design it around a uniformity of colors, typefaces, and overall aesthetic appearance. Design it around a relevant theme. So let's say you're designing an infographic around a medical industry. Relevancy would include using appropriate colors, such as red, white, light grays, etc., and using in your infographic items that are commonly associated with medicine and hospitals, for instance. Your infographic should be easy to understand. The whole point of an infographic is to help people to easily understand the data that's being put forth. But make sure you don't go overboard and make things complex with too many colors, fonts, little white space, etc. Be creative. As with all design, creativity pays. If you could check off the previous six items from your checklist, be as creative as you want. People are engaged when encountered with the unfamiliar, and being creative with your infographics can only lead to success. All right, so in the next chapter, we're going to acquaint ourselves with a follow-along infographic design project. So I'll see you then.